This morning, for the second day in a row, Kate, the Princess of Wales, is recovering in the hospital after what Kensington Palace calls a successful planned abdominal surgery, saying she will likely remain in the hospital for 10 to 14 days, a rare, lengthy stay. A source at Kensington Palace confirms her condition is non-cancerous. I wish Kate well. I think she's a fantastic princess. I wish her fast recovery. Uh, hopefully she's going to be okay. The palace also says she'll now cancel all events until after Easter, a long time to be out of view for the most popular royal. You know, I was told that she had a very packed schedule coming up between now and Easter and was very much looking forward to it. And that was just uh, a couple of weeks back. So things have obviously moved fairly quickly. Kate has long been seen as healthy, very sporty, oh! talking about the benefits of exercise. I really mm -hmm. generally love all sports. You know, I love swimming. Personally, I love swimming. Oh, cold swimming, love... the colder the better. Really? with no known health issues outside of the much publicized extreme morning sickness with all three pregnancies hospitalized for one. And last week on her 42nd birthday, the royal family posted this behind the scenes snap from King Charles's coronation, no inkling that anything might be wrong. We last saw Kate celebrating Christmas with the whole family at Sandringham. And the statement adds she hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible. George, Charlotte, and of course, little Louis are at the center of their lives. And Prince William will also postpone events to support his family. Also yesterday, in a stunning second royal health statement in one day, Buckingham Palace announced King Charles will have a corrective procedure next week for an enlarged prostate. His Majesty's condition is benign, the palace says, reassuring news for this 75-year-old monarch. Now, Charles will also postpone his engagements, at least in the next couple of weeks, according to Buckingham Palace. But this is a lot of high-profile faces out of view since Prince William will not be holding any engagements while his wife is in the hospital, and he will be scaling back over the next couple of months. Guys? All right, Molly, thank you. Let's get more perspective on all this. Dr. Roshni Raj, a gastroenterologist and associate professor of medicine at NYU Langone Health, is with us. But first, let's turn to NBC Royal commentator Daisy McAndrew, who's with us in London. So I'm sure there's lots of speculation, Daisy, out there. It's kind of a long hospital stay and a long recovery. What are they saying out there? Well, of course, whilst a lot of people do see that it's rather unseemly to speculate about somebody's private medical matters, that hasn't stopped an awful lot of people just wondering what on earth it could have been that has hospitalised Kate for such a long time. Of course, as your medical expert will tell you, two weeks in hospital for somebody as, as young and seemingly fit as Kate does seem like a, a worryingly a long time. So, there, were, of course, there's been speculation. Could it be something gynaecological? Um, could it be something bowel-related? Is it something that's actually means that her um, stomach muscles will be uh, cut through in that operation. Those are the sorts of questions that are being asked here. But also I think there has been a lot of admiration um, for what is a much more open statement about medical matters um, from Kate and from Charles than, than we've seen before. It's interesting, Daisy, because it's a planned medical procedure, according to the palace. But then they also had to apologize for canceling a bunch of stuff, which makes you wonder, well, why did you ever schedule it if you knew this was planned? I mean, is there any indication on that? Exactly that. They've, you know, they've said you know, this wasn't emergency surgery, this was elective surgery. But again, elective surgery could be you deciding to have an operation in two days' time. It just means you're not being rushed to hospital in an ambulance. So, as you quite rightly said, she has apologised for having to cancel a lot of plans. There was a thought that they were going on a foreign tour this spring to Italy, which, of course, has been pushed back. So, so people are concerned that this is a serious medical matter. Dr. Raj, this is your area of expertise, and again, we don't want to be unseemly here and, and over-speculate, but planned abdominal surgery, 10 to 14 days of, 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 of recovery in the hospital, then months of recovery at home after that. Yeah. What, if anything, can we glean from that? I do think the 10 to 14 days seems a bit long. Now, I will say, you know, in America, we, we tend to try to get people out of the hospital very quickly for a variety of reasons, including the fact that it's not very healthy to be in the hospital. You can get infections, things like that. I do think in the UK, they keep people in the hospital a little bit longer. I would expect after abdominal surgery, probably in the UK, about seven days. So, you know, 10 to 14 is a little bit longer than that. We, of course, have no idea what kind of surgery she had. But when they say abdominal surgery, that implies cutting through abdominal wall muscles. Mm -hmm. And that can be 
very painful, so you have to manage pain afterwards. There's possibilities of wound infection, and there's weakness and fatigue. So it does take a while for those muscles to heal, for you to be able to be back to your sort of fighting function and being able to lift you know, heavy things or walk a long period of time. So the several months doesn't bother me, actually. We often tell people after abdominal surgery, you're not going to be 100% for probably three months. Uh, but the 10 to 14 days tends to seem a bit long. And I agree with Savannah, this question of was it really planned if right. she had to cancel so many events afterwards. You know, if, if I had a patient who I said needs surgery in two days, that's a pretty urgent situation. Mm -hmm. I don't really consider that truly elective. Yeah, you so, wonder if it's semantics a little bit. Yeah. Right, you so, know. So she didn't dis disclose exactly what her uh, illness is. Prince Charles did, uh, and it's something, I guess, fairly common for men in their Extremely 70s. Extremely common. I mean, you would, might almost consider this part of the normal part of aging for a man, that their prostate tends to enlarge, so benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, Benign is the most important thing to realize. It's a benign condition. It's not linked to prostate cancer, but it can cause some distressing symptoms, especially urinary retention, which is why many men do seek treatment and there are a variety of treatments. Uh, these are usually somewhat minor procedures, so his recovery is expected to be much faster. All right. Dr. Raj and Thanks, Daisy, Raj. thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.